Christian B. Anfinson is a biochemist who made significant contributions to molecular genetics. He was born in 1916 to parents who were Norwegian immigrants. After playing varsity football at Swarthmore College, he received his master's in organic chemistry from the University of Pennsylvania and then his Ph.D. in biochemistry from Harvard Medical School, where he later served as a professor. He passed away in 1995, but he is known mostly for his work on the principles that govern the folding of protein chains, for which he received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1972. The three scientists to share this award were Christian Anfinsen, Stanford Moore, and William Stein. Collectively, their work elucidated the relationship between the chemical structure and catalytic activity of an enzyme. An enzyme is a key substance in life. From the central dogma of molecular genetics, we know that the genetic information of DNA determines the sequence of amino acids that make up polypeptide chains. But the activity of enzymes is determined by more than just the sequence of these peptide bonds. Each enzyme is folded into a unique 3D structure called its native conformation. So what processes govern how enzymes are folded into their 3D structures? This is what Christian Anfinsen studied. He worked with an enzyme called ribonuclease. He reduced the enzyme, destroying the disulfide bonds that keep it in its specific 3D shape. This reduction denatures the enzyme, essentially scrambling it. When he left this scrambled enzyme in a solution of urea, which is a denaturing solution, the enzyme refolded in many different ways by creating all of the disulfide bonds possible. But when the scrambled enzyme was left in a solution similar to its normal cellular environment, the enzyme refolded into only its original shape. These results suggest that the biological function of an enzyme is based more on the geometry of the 3D structure than the sequence of amino acids and that this 3D structure is determined by all of the interatomic interactions in a given environment. This means that the surroundings of the enzyme, such as the ions present in the solution, the pH, and the temperature, are just as important in how enzymes fold as the amino acid sequence itself. Anfinsen then timed how long it took for the enzyme to refold, and this led to his discovery of an enzyme system that catalyzes disulfide bonds. When he introduced this system to an enzyme changed to have either an altered amino acid sequence or non-native disulfide bonds, he changed them into bonds that were more stable or lower in energy, which happened to be the native bonds. This suggests that the driving force for enzyme folding is thermodynamic, so that when the enzyme is in its native conformation, the energy of the total system is at a minimum. This means that the native structure is the most stable possible. Amphitson combined the results of all of these investigations into what he called the thermodynamic hypothesis. To recap, this hypothesis states that the linear sequence of amino acids is all that is needed for an enzyme to fold correctly, and that the native conformation of each enzyme is the most thermodynamically stable state in the enzyme's specific cellular environment. This groundbreaking research was possible only because Anfinsen possessed a unique blend of characteristics that perfectly prepared him to discover and present great contributions to the international scientific community. Anfinsen had various interests outside of the scientific arena. He played the piano and viola and enjoyed a love of sailing for many years, astonishing fellow sailors with his bravery on the water. This adventurous personality meshed well with his work, and he stayed abroad many times during his career because of it. He understood the need to build a network of international scientists, to broaden his scientific perspective, and to learn the novel techniques used in foreign laboratories. He was never afraid to branch out to new methodologies or to collaborate with others. This allowed him to obtain as complete a view as possible of whatever he was studying, which ultimately led to his Nobel Prize. As a great humanitarian, Anfinsen also cared a great deal about how his work impacted the public, so his research focus changed every 10 years or so to reflect the dynamic national and international social environments. He was committed to the responsible use of research, fervently discouraging the pursuit of biological weapons and nuclear testing, supporting the freedom of international scientists and oppressive countries, and advocating strongly for human rights. This selflessness allowed his scientific and other work to have such a large impact on so many. 
Throughout his life, Anfinson never lost his humble background and honored it by always keeping modest and hardworking. His passion, too, never wavered, and he fully believed that it was the journey, not the arrival, that mattered. That journey was still going full steam, even on the day of his death. It's easily evident that Christian Anfinson was both a great man and a great scientist, and his research will forever influence and impact molecular genetics.